Hey, what's up everyone? It's been a while. Super happy to see you again for new Webflow tips. Today we're gonna create an animation where images are changing while we're scrolling the view. It might be easy, but it's kind of tricky because you need to play with sticky position and also the vertical height. So we're gonna see this right now in this new Webflow tips. Let's go. So what are we gonna do for arrive to this final composition? It's we're gonna first create a main wrapper of 500 vertical high. Why? Because we have five image of 100 VH. Because we're gonna, inside this main wrapper, we're gonna create a sticky wrapper of 100 VH. We're gonna take all the vertical high of the screen. And this wrapper will stay sticky all along that the main wrapper is crawling. And after, the last thing we're gonna set is this cache. Why are we gonna set this cache? Because I'm gonna say that when this cache enter in the view, so scroll in the view, you're gonna start to show me the images inside my sticky wrapper because my sticky wrapper will contain the five image inside here. And I'm gonna say, okay, show me at 0% of this cache, show me the image number two. At 25%, show me the image number three. At 50%, show me the image number four. At 75%, show me the image number five. And I don't need to say show me the image number one because we already see the image number one. So that's why. And after, we're just gonna play with Z-index because we're gonna first show the image number one, which is an index of one. The image number two will have as an index of two, like that it will be on the top of the image one. And it will be the same for the other image. The, the image number three with an index of three will be on the top of the two till we arrive to the final image of uh, with a Z index of five. So that's it. And now let's jump into Webflow. So what we're gonna try, so what we're gonna build first is the main wrapper. So I'm gonna call this main, I'm gonna say main parent. I'm gonna give a width of 100 V width, a height, as I say, of 500 V height. I'm gonna also give a relative position because I'm gonna use absolute and sticky position, so need to be relative to the main parents. Also, now I'm gonna create another section that will come after my main parents that I'm gonna call text section. This section will be 100 the width, so let's give a margin of six rem for the moment. And inside, I'm gonna grab my H1. I'm gonna also give to my section a little padding of one rem. And now I'm gonna copy my text. Let me set my H1. Let's be bolder. Perfect. So now you can see. First, I scroll my main parent, and after, my text section is coming. So the scene is set up. For the moment, we set up the main wrapper and the text. Now, let's play inside our main parent. So in the main parent, I'm gonna add a new div called sticky. Wrapper. This wrapper is gonna take 100% width because it can take the width of its parents, who is already set width. And the height of this sticky is 100 VH. Let's give a color like that we can see for the moment. Let's give a red color. Now you can see that my sticky wrapper, when I scroll, it takes just 100 by width after I have the rest of my main wrapper and after my, my, uh, my other content. So now I'm gonna give, of course, 
a sticky position to this element and I'm gonna give a margin top of zero for a for stick to the top. And now you can see, because here I have the bar, the scroll bar, my sticky wrapper stays sticky. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so now let's take off this horrible color. And inside the sticky wrapper, I'm gonna add a class called images parent. For this, it's pretty easy. I just need to say take 100% width, 100% height, because it will fit to his parents, the sticky wrapper. Overflow item. And inside, I'm gonna grab an image and add my first image. So this I'm gonna call EMG cover. And for this, I just need to say you take 100% width, 100% height, and really important, cover like that. Doesn't matter the size of my screen, the image fit. So that's perfect. So now you can see I'm scrolling and I have this image. What I'm gonna say is to give a, an absolute position to this image, and I'm gonna give us an index of one and I'm gonna add a class of is z1 now I'm gonna just copy the image five times five perfect and now I'm gonna set the second image so I'm gonna take off the class I mean I'm gonna duplicate duplicate the class and I'm gonna call is z2 and of course give us an index of two here, same, Z3, and of course, as you know, we give us an index of 3. And same for the image 4, image 4, Z4, and the image 5, Z5, perfect. Now I'm gonna change my image number 2, which is my image number 2, is this one. Okay, so now we you don't see here because of course the image five is on the four and the four is on the three and the three is on the is on the top of the two, etc. But here you can see that my image is the good one. Now I'm gonna change the image number three, which is this one. I will change the image number four and is this one and the image number five, which is this one. So now you can see, for example, if I delete the image, they are all here. So let me come back. I, I also could use the main parent for say, okay, uh, while the main parent scroll in the view, change the image. But you know, on Webflow, when you do, a, when you set an animation while scrolling the view, on something already in the view, you have always a, um, a problem with the person. Sometimes it starts at 50%, sometimes it starts at 30%. I'm sure you already have the case. Now we're gonna set this wrapper, this cache of 400 VH, because we already set our sticky wrapper here of 100 VH. So now what I'm gonna say is, Here, I'm gonna create my cache and I'm gonna give a, a relative position of zero to my sticky wrapper. I'm gonna give a, gonna give a relative position of one and my cache, I'm gonna give a width of 100% and a height of 400 VH. And like that, you can see if I select my cache, when I'm at the, on the top of my page, the cache is here. And when I start to scroll, I can see that my cache is scrolling. So now what we're gonna say is just to create an animation while scrolling the view on the cache. And we're gonna say, okay, when the cache start to appear, show me another image. When you are in X percent of the cache, show me another. If here it's zero percent, let me show you. 
if here it's zero percent here will be 25 percent here will be 50 percent and here will be 75 percent so what we're gonna say it's when you when the cash is in the view at zero percent show me the image too when it's in the view of 25%, show me the, the image 3. And when it's on the view at 50%, show me the image 4. And when you are in the view at 75%, show me the 5. So what it's what we're gonna do right now. Let me create the animation while scrolling the view on the cache, on the class cache. And I create my animation that I'm gonna call images, Oops, sorry. Images scroll in view. But remember, on the animation while scrolling the view, you can't play with the hide and show. So what we're gonna do is to select our four images and give an opacity of zero. And now we come back in our animation. Okay, it's select my image number two and give an opacity. So what I'm gonna say is to set the opacity to 100 at zero percent. Let's just duplicate because if not, I will have this problem because I need to give a beginning and a hand. So let's just give the same opacity. Now I'm gonna duplicate and at 25, I mean, let's say 24%, I changed my target. I'm gonna select the image number three. So you can see image number three. And now I'm gonna set to 0% and this one at 25 to 100%. So now we can see it's working. So now I'm gonna continue. Oh. I'm gonna duplicate, uh, 50%, change the target, select the image number four. And here yeah, I'm gonna give an opacity of 100%. I just need to select the right image because I think the image number four Anyway, let's back to my cache. And now we can see that is working. So now let's finish the animation, duplicate, set at 75 and 76. We change the target and it's the Z5. 0%, 100. And now let's see, clack, 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 clack. So it's perfect and it's working. But we still have one problem because when we check here, we have the we have the second image, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. But the, the first one is not here. And why we don't see our first image? Because we also need to have the first image in our animation. So for this, we're gonna move second image to 4% and the beginning at 3% like that we're gonna select the image number one and give an opacity of 100% at 0% duplicate and at 1% still 100% at 3% the second image will be on the top of the first images so now let's check and it's working so let's save and check put my screen like this and that's it just had the final touch because we didn't have the the title on our sticky wrapper so for this I'm gonna go in my sticky wrapper and inside I'm gonna add 
my h2 that I'm gonna set inside of wrapper I'm gonna call him wrapper title with a width and a height automatic but a z index of 6 and now my h2 because I already set my h1 this wrapper title will be center and will also will be in absolute position at the bottom I just copy the title let me set the high something like this I'm gonna take my sticky wrapper and give an overflow item also what I can do is to give a mask inside my image parent that this will be in absolute in absolute 10 for example taking the full width and the full height and giving you a black mask of 15 and I'm gonna select again my wrapper title and give us an index of 12 like that it's going on the top we have our beautiful page with the image scrolling but staying sticky and after we have our content so that's it pretty easy what do you think that's the end of our weekly Webflow tips. I hope you like it. Please share it to your friends or people who are using Webflow to share these tips. If you like it, subscribe to the channel, share to people, talk about, talk about it around you. It will be really cool because we have a lot of things to share about Webflow and also design and no code in general. So let's keep in touch in this channel and see you soon. Bye.